वेलकम एवरी वन माई सेल्फ प्रोफेसर डी एस मुंडे वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ प्रोसेसिंग एंड फूड इंजीनियरिंग के के वाग कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी नासिक सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल कवर द रिमेनिंग पोस्ट हार्वेस्ट यूनिट ऑपरेशन ऑफ ग्रीन क्रॉप्स सो इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी कवर वन क्लास Uh, that is cleaning, grading, sorting. So, the next class is drying and dehydration. So, drying is one of the important unit operations. So, the the definition of drying is the removal of moisture content to a predetermined level is called as a drying. in drying operation uh, we set a particular level and up to that level we remove the water from the substance or any commodity so it is the one of the unit operations under the post harvest phase so this is a thermophysical and physico chemical process or we can also uh, say that it is a heat and mass transfer process so it refers to the removal of moisture content from grains and other products to a predetermined level grains are generally harvested at higher moisture content in order to reduce harvesting losses so if this if the grains are stored in a storage structure with this moisture content the spoilage of the grains occurs Uh, in the storage period also it becomes difficult to process the grain uh, in a processing plant such moisture content needs immediate treatment to prevent quality deterioration due to mold development so drying is widely used method for preservation of food grains and other products so dehydration so dehydration refers to the removal of moisture to very low level usually to bone dry condition so from drying and de dehydration it is clear that we can't remove 100% water from the product in a drying we remove water to the level which we fix and while in dehydration we remove the water from the material to a very low levels usually to bone dry condition so the next unit operation is storage so demand of food grain is regular and uniform whereas the production of most of the food raw material is seasonal and time bound all the raw commodities for food are to be processed before use and the food processing plants have their limited capacity so all these necessitate storage of harvested biomass for varying period in addition to these food grains oil seeds tubers etc are also stored as seed for the next crop storage is also essential to overcome the natural calamities like flood famine or etc to minimize the storage losses it is necessary to have knowledge of scientific ways of storage information on design of modern saleable storage structure is essential modern uh, storage structure like silos and bins so maintenance of hygienic condition during storage is also necessary in order to avoid the qualitative as well as quantitative losses of the stored commodity so the next class of unit operation is milling so why we perform this milling operation on grains or it is also called as size reduction unit operation so the food grains contains a large central starch centrally located starch endosperm which is also rich in protein so these seeds are covered with protective layers called as hull and bran the hull is colored and may contain tannins and is highly indigestible 
the grain also contains jar which is high in oil because of this oil it is enzymatically active and under certain conditions may produce rancidity in the grain therefore germ and hull are removed in milling operations the starchy and proteinous endosperm is obtained by milling and in some cases the endosperm is further comminuted means reduced the pulses or pores legumes which are rich in protein supply 15 to 30% of daily of daily protein to indian people so pulses are mostly consumed in the form of dal that is the dehusk and split kernels dehusking and splitting of pulses are performed in milling operations also oil is extracted from the oil bearing materials either by mechanical expeller juice from various products is also extracted by milling machines means the size reduction or milling of cereal pulses and oil seeds is done under this milling unit operation so the next class of unit operation is material handling and transportation the performance of any processing activity is considerably affected by the efficiency of movement of material from one unit operations to another so the, therefore this material handling equipment like a belt conveyor bucket elevator screw conveyor pneumatic conveyor plays important role and all these machinery are called as material handling equipment so optimization of time and movement of material in a processing plant are necessary to minimize cost of operation and max maximize profit knowledge of correct layout of handling equipment is desirable therefore the next and final class of uh, post harvest unit operations of agricultural commodity is waste and by products utilization so about 80% of the total energy consumed in the rural areas falls under cooking of food it is also estimated that about 80% of energy required for cooking is obtained mainly from wood crop residue and cow dung so nearly 50% of the energy used in rural areas can be saved by using improved cooking stoves and furnaces so thank you so in this way in part 1 and part 2 of uh, uh, post harvest unit operations of agricultural crops uh, we cover different unit operations uh, which are necessary in order to process the agricultural commodity so in the upcoming video lectures we are going to study each and every unit operation in detail so this this was the just uh, introduction part and in order to get the clear idea of uh, what is unit operation uh, how they are important in post harvest manage management of cereal pulses and oil seed crops so thank you